Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the structure of organ of corti. It is a very sensitive structure in the scala media which consists of numerous hair cells or receptor cells which convert the auditory signals into the nerve impulses. Here is the structure of organ of corti. This is a highly viscous and gelatinous membrane that is tectorial membrane. It is made up of collagen plus glycoprotein. It rests over the hair cells. Few cells which are known as Pillar cells or rods of corti are here to enclose a cavity, inner tunnel or tunnel of corti. These are pillar cells or rods of corti. Few basilar cells may be in between. Outer to the pillar cells or outer to the inner tunnel of corti, outer pharyngeal cells are there. These pharyngeal cells provide base for the outer hair cells. These are outer hair cells and the stereocilia originating from these hair cells are embedded in the tectorial membrane. These are outer hair cells. These are about 20,000 in number and are arranged in three rows. Now, inner to the inner tunnel or the pillar cells, inner pharyngeal cells are there. Inner hair cells rest over the inner pharyngeal cells. Inner hair cells are shorter than or smaller than the outer hair cells and also the cilia or stereocilia do not reach the tectorial membrane. This cavity which is present between the tunnel of uh, the pillar cells and the outer hair cells is known as space of newel. And Hansen cells are there. Outer to outer pharyngeal cells, Hansen cells are there. And the cavity between the Hansen cells and the outer hair cells is known as outer tunnel. Few cells of Claudius may be found which are cuboidal like cells. These are cells of Claudius. The inner phalange, outer phalangeal cells are also known as dieter cells. These are inner phalangeal cells. And here are border cells. This is endolymph. Here also is endolymph. And this is the basilar membrane on which these all types of cells rest. The afferent and efferent neurons originate from here.
these are afferent neurons and these are efferent neurons the afferent and efferent neurons enter in separate nerves like these afferent neurons enter in a sheath to form cochlear nerve this cochlear nerve enter the eighth cranial nerve that is auditory cranial nerve which reach the brain stem and from brain stem that is superior olivary nuclei from the efferent fibers originate and enter the sheath and distribute here to different types of hair cells there is lot of difference between inner hair cell and outer hair cell these are merely 3500 in number outer hair cells are 20000 in number these are arranged in single row outer hair cells are arranged in three rows the stereocilia of inner cell inner hair cells are shorter and do not touch the tectorial membrane the stereocilia of outer hair cells are longer and are embedded in the tectorial membrane even the cell of uh, inner cell is shorter and the outer cell outer hair cell are longer but the most important thing is that 90 to 95% of afferent neurons originate from inner hair cell in spite of their low number which means that the actual receptors for auditory stimuli are the inner hair cells so this is the organ of cortile